It's the network. Man, truly and honestly, I the more I, I read a lot of this, the more I realize that as artists, you know, most of us are overthinking. Like mm. because I'm I'm I just finished my uh my fifth week for the uh branding course and I kept saying like man I, I don't know what to put, I don't know what to put for these for these questions, but then I reread the questions with the friend and I was like, it's simple. What do you think are your top two strengths? And uh I guess to bring it full circle and to ask my question is, um, when, when, when we're attacking these questions and when we're, we're working on our brand and things of that nature, what, what is a kind of a good way to, to, to make sure we're keeping things very simple? Because I realized the power in just having two strengths and highlighting that over a thousand posts rather than showing people 30 things you're good at over a thousand posts, you know? Yeah. Um, well, the way I try to approach brand building is to, like, I look at your brand as how do you want people who will, you know, who may never get to meet you to think about you whenever they see you or hear your name. Um, okay. Then, so you kind of think, like, like you said, if your core things are, you know, I want to be known as a motivational guy that's, I don't know, artistic, artsy, you know what I'm saying, free thinking, creative, something like that. So then the reason I emphasize the you'll never get to um, you may not get to speak to most of these people is because now you have to figure out how to simplify these things for other people. Because yeah. if you were to meet someone in real life, you could have a conversation with them. You could just be yourself around them and they would pick those things up from you. People don't get right. to see you all the time, you know what I'm saying? We don't get to be around you like your friends or the people that you know personally. So you have to figure out how to show those things about yourself in the content that you put out to people. So like if you're an RC person, you know what I'm saying, maybe you put out a video or you are like an art musician, you know what I'm saying? Or you ask your fans about art related stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like this is pretty much I think the best brands kinda of come from artists who figure out what facets of the facets of their personality are they willing to kinda of like characterize. Because like, you know, like the whole Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Yeah. 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 So like but, your whole artist personality is pretty much like in a sense, it's not like really a character. Like it's a character in the sense of like it's entertainment. Things are exaggerated, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. But the closer you make it to things that are actually like who you are, the easier it becomes to portray because sometimes it just becomes showing like documenting yourself portrays certain things about your brand because people see the way you act, but then you can purposely put out pieces of content that make people think that way about you. Um so, I don't know, man, that's, that's how I try to approach brand building, is just like that. Like, it's going to be mostly people who never get to talk to you, who never get to have a real conversation with you, because you have to control the way they think about you. What are you going to put out so they think this way about you? It's the network.